So if you love motorcycles and you love history, then have we got a story for you. The Vancouver Motorcycle Show is back. It's coming to town January 18th to the 20th. It will be at the Tradex in Abbotsford. And there's going to be quite the exhibit on display there that we are going to be giving you a little bit of a preview of right now with the help of motorcycle historian Terry Ray. Hi, Terry. How are you, Simi? I am good. Thank you. And now I know you're still doing this. I thought you'd retired. I thought I did too. <laughs> what happened? Well, it, uh, there's not many people can step up to a microphone and talk about the history of uh, motorcycling or, or motorsport in general. Tell me about this exhibit then that's going to be going on at the Vancouver Motorcycle Show. We have seven motorcycles that we're bringing out of the museum. And uh, I hesitate to call it a museum. Now, it's more of a collection than a museum because it isn't... Uh, pristine museum type uh, motorcycles and uh, we're taking seven of the bikes from that and it's a cross section that gives you everything matter of fact one of the bikes that's in there was Trev Dealey's own personal bike really yes what year was that 1954 must be nice well remember his dad owned the shop yeah is there a theme then to the bikes that you're going to be bringing not really it's like it's just a cross section of everything and uh, people uh uh, if they remember the Aramaki, which was Harley Davidson's endeavor to try to get into the small motor. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, that sort of petered out after a while, but one of those will be on display. We'll have a 350. And uh, we're going to have the uh, 50th anniversary panhead is going to be there. And don't ask me why it was 1954, but it was. Mathematics tell me it should have been 53, but. <laughs> So you could tell he's a historian, right? Because he can really pick at the little dates on this kind of thing. What's popular right now, Terry? Like if somebody were to buy a bike today, what are they looking for? Well, it all depends on uh, on who they they they, they chum with. But the, I find that there's still a little bit of uh, peer pressure off people to get certain bikes. Like what? What do you mean? Well, let's say... Uh, uh, your husband liked Harleys. He did, yes. And him and I could have much, lots. much, actually. We'd have <laughs> lots to talk about. And yeah. But if he was into, uh, let's say, Japanese motorcycles, uh, we might not have the same subjects to talk about. And what a lot of people don't realize is that Trev Dealey was the first importer of Honda in the English-speaking world. Really? In 1957. So you're saying it's just really personal preference. Exactly. So right now, I know you were telling me Harley-Davidson is still as popular as ever, but you said Indian motorcycles are back too. Indian's back. They they had a few tries. They had a few false starts, but now they're involved in uh, flat track racing, which is becoming popular again, and they're giving Harley a very good run for their money. And as I said, what wins on Sunday sells on Monday. So people want to come in and they hear, they keep hearing this name and then they think, I want something a little bit different. And a lot of things are done by podcasts now. So you can actually watch races that are done, say, in the, in the eastern, eastern states. You can watch them on, 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 your, on your YouTube and get an idea of watching the race. And, and it's quite exciting. And again, Monday morning comes around, you'll want to go down to the dealership and find out, is that bike really what it's all, what it's cracked up to be? So do you think motorcycles have like a, almost like an eternal popularity? Always. We're, uh, uh, they have the Harley Owners Group. Yeah. Which is, uh, it was started in 1985 and uh, it gave people a chance to belong to a club. Whereas before, at one time, clubs were quite ex- exclusive. Right. And... Uh, now people can belong to a club. They can they can put a a, a recognition bad a patch on their back, and become a hog member. Matter of fact, when you buy a bike, your 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 membership comes with the bike, and then you have to maintain it. And do you think that is what attracts some people to it? Then it's just this idea that you're going to belong to a a, com- a camaraderie almost of people. It's exactly what it is, and uh, a lot of uh, that is something that's lost with civilization today. Is that people do not have something to belong to? Mm, interesting. Then, so then, what if these bikes are? Are they all vintage bikes that you were taking out to the exhibit? Yes. So, what is the oldest one? The oldest one would be the 1926 JD, which is a fairly uh, uh, fairly popular bike amongst the collectors. Why? Uh, it's just uh, it, it, they didn't manufacture that many of them, and uh, that makes them exclusive in itself. But uh, it was a it was a 
it was an experimental motor that, that they that got it started, and it just sort of swelled from there. What makes a bike like a collector bike, or when you buy one that you know that maybe in the future years it's going to be a great bike, a vintage bike? It's much like going down to the casino and putting your money on the table. <laughs> <laughs> it, it pays your money and takes your chances. You just got to roll the dice with that. Exactly, because uh, some bikes are more collectible than others. Okay. And if they have a history with them, like like I said, the 54 that belonged to Trev Dealey, I actually rode on trail riding with Trev while he was on that bike. Wow. So will you be down at the Vancouver Motorcycle Show helping people out so they can learn more about these bikes? All three days. And uh, if uh, people want to talk to me, I'm, I'm more than willing to have, have the questions ready. Have your questions ready. So you'll be there January 18th to the 20th at the Trade X in Abbotsford. That's right. Sounds good. Terry, thank you so much for your time today. And thanks for having me. That is Terry Ray, the Vancouver Motorcycle Show, coming to the Trade X in Abbotsford, January 18th to the 20th. Check them out online. They are going to be having a great motorcycle exhibition there, too, with half a dozen or so vintage bikes that Terry will be happy to kind of walk you through and tell you all about the history of those bikes.